Hello everyone, this is Isaac. This is Taren. We are true masters true and morons. True masters and morons. Playing vampire. Playing vampire and failing at life in a way. Hang on. Go back home, idiots! There. Crush the leads, boys! Oh, hello. Ah, a person with a gun. Oh! <laughs> Well, congratulations. You stood there just long enough for him to get pissed off, but not to actually start murdering you while you weren't moving. Indeed. Oh, that's fire. Oh, that's... I don't know what that is. He's new. He's got a cross staff. The Reverend the Kane. The Reverend Kane. He's that got a sounds name. sounds like he has an actual name. Oh, oh. no. Oh, no. Oh. That's that thing from the cutscene. Yeah, he's got a cross. I don't want to know what it does. I don't... I mean, I do, but I don't. <clears throat> and he has a vampire teleport. Not cool. Oh. Oh. Okay. Back up. Back up. Grand it's slam. what you want to do now, priest. Screw off. <laughs> like, that's anyway. one of those I, I would almost think that he has a thing where it's like you bite him and you take damage or something. <laughs> right? Stun and bite. Stun and bite. Nom 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 nom. Hey! Oh, hey! Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Beware the wrath of God! Be gone! <laughs> whack whack! We'll <laughs> 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 <Pull> be back. <coughs> and it's funny because I was looking away and laughing. I read that the blood of citizens is the fastest way to evolve. And I read it as Christians, because of what we were just talking about. <laughs> the blood of Christians is the fastest way to evolve. <laughs> like Reverend K. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Wow. Face row. That's my new Digimon. Face roll. Face roll. That was an interesting noise. That sucked. Am I, am I crazy or is there like piano music there or something? There was a bit of a tune tune. Alright, so where are you besides right in front of some more dudes? Uh, I killed these before we started the recording, so I'm just gonna get up. No, no, I was like, I was just asking where you are. Like, are you even vaguely close to where you were before or not so yeah, much? Yeah, I'm actually like right up this road is where I was. Oh, good, good. So much easier to deal with you and your fire than that stupid gun. Alright. Yeah. Nicely done, sir. Thank you. Sodium hypochlorite solution. Don't mind you me. You wanna try it again? Best no, open. you're just gonna scoot on by? Don't mind me, I'm just walking through, just passing by. All right, everyone, we're back. No one wants to deal with uh, Reverend oh. Kane. Hello. Hello, Rando. I don't think I've ever met. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I know what you're thinking. A tall stranger who meets a girl in the street at night. It reeks of the penny dreadfuls. But I mean you no harm. See, I don't know why you felt the need to uh, specifically reference the tall pit. Right. I know you Is she mute? What I'm saying. That's my thought. Your silence has nothing to do with me being mute, does it? What? All right. Okay. Well, now we know what the Braille book's for. Very well. <laughs> Goodbye then. I can't give her the book, like. You don't have it. Yeah, I do. You be you're piecing together the pieces of the Braille book. Ah. Uh... Well, anyway, so we're headed to find Richard N Nithercott. Nithercott is how I pronounce that, yeah. And Clayton Darby. 
Yes, and there's a f person right there. Hello, other newbie. Oh, another lady. How are you? Oh. What can Christina do for you? I'm not looking for what you're selling. But I'd like to ask you a few questions about it. For what you're selling. All right, then. But be quick. Though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> All right. Do you know Nurse Oh <laughs> wow! Anything you can tell me about her would be helpful. I don't know her. That's just but quite I know her name is wow. Salacious. <laughs> she came from Romania, like me and many others. You oh. Respect her. Dorothea helps the sick people of Whitechapel. Everyone should respect that. Dorothea. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London, and you could be exposed or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals, but I don't like you asking questions. I don't like you not answering Neat. my questions. <laughs> you can put your own life in danger. That's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger, too. And you think that would worry me? If you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. <laughs> I, I believe that. I believe that. I really do. I'm terrible. I assure you, it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. I mean, Ugh. fair enough, I guess. Yeah. Which is not wrong based on what we're seeing around here. Right. This district's health is serious. Don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no oh, that's what people pay you for half the time, don't lie. I am, however, curious as to... What I mean, maybe not back then. <laughs> Short story. Uh -huh. The war, exile, and England. This country that is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. Uh, I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, no. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I huh? don't always. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, oh that's fantastic. Only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. Yeah, because right. the doc's power too. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to click that again. Sorry, hang on, hang on. There we go. Uh, okay, all right. not, not enough of a question. Hint. Okay. Take care of yourself as best you can. All right. That was... Later. Oh, so he's in the area right now. Oh, he's in this area. All right. Uh, vampire vision. Oh, she has fatigue. Hang on. Oh, you just have some That's of that right. I need to go cure my donut. Are you going to cure him instead? Oh, uh, it's a different thing. I'm shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. You are full of crap. with good manners. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. Blood quality. All right. Oh, she's got four hints. Ooh. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah, she's gonna be worth some blood. Take okay. As best you can. I need you to not take on a venereal disease so that I can, you know, eat you later. I nope. don't think that matters. Hello, unknown. Forget he looks like daughter. priest. Do not apologize, yes. my son. Father, father, I assume, Whitaker? Is always happy to teach yep, Father Tobias Whitaker. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. All right. And I just have Wasn't the other one's name Tobias Whitaker? I don't know. You are much more lost than I thought, my son. Oh. Uh. 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 Where? Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital. I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses. But I especially abhor that nurse. Crane. I'm going to eat you. Okay. Dude, just. So just let him be stupid. Let's, let's let him finish. Work. But 
nurses are essential for <laughs> Wow. <laughs> should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. It's obvious what? only they have the necessary moral fiber. The point is if if a woman takes well, care of a male I know stuff, exactly yeah. what he's saying. And again I said, can we just take you over to the hospital? Hey, look what no one wants to mess with right now. Right? Any of these Any people. Any of these nurses. Just, member of the communist resistance in our country oh that's what happened when you let a woman get involved in politics <sighs> wow this guy what do you mean when you say that i am more lost than you thought all scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences and, most uh -huh. and you're not the plain truth quite a judgment what's the plain opinion, what's the plain truth but what do i know Blinded by science as I am. No, no, no. I want to know what the plain truth is. Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. Sure. I'm listening. I'm listening. Well, yes. I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. As a doctor, you must be aware of a decimating epidemic. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Let me tell you that this so-called <laughs> Spanish flu you think it's the first of many plagues? Is that what you're saying here? Okay, so no, he literally thinks it's the end times. Uh-huh. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. And what would be your <laughs> we must fight the disease before this legion outnumbers us. But not with scalpels and microscopes. No. What is left then? Cleansing fire. Oh snap! <laughs> How exactly will you cleanse this city? What exactly is your plan concerning the cleansing of this city? God will recognize his own. More than once this city has risen. Oh no! Hardened and Again, I'm going to eat you. Dude! I'm going to eat you. But I, I would say, where do you put the limit? Purification by fire has proved useful, but where do you stop? Burn the clothes, the buildings, the corpses, worse? Your lack of faith is predictable, but my task is to convince rational minds like yours to see the light. You know how you do that? You answer the question! You're <laughs> and dangerous. You're nothing but a soulless butcher, a small-time torquemada. The Savonarola of Whitechapel. My Those are both names I don't know. <laughs> salvation is a free gift. Go listen to the lies of that pompous fool, Joseph. Joseph, a fool. Vicar Larrabee of St. Mary's Church. While he continues preaching his fraudulent redemption, more and more people die in the streets. Hey. All right. Good. Sweet Moses. Have you any this dude. <laughs> any family left in these terrible times? No. He's a priest. But I have a disciple I see as my son. He is so devoted. I sent him to preach the good word in the heart of this corrupted city. He be dead. <laughs> right? Where did you send him? I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery. Where the pestilence and evil grows oh, night no. after night. You but why, though? Preaching crusade during the epidemic. As a true You're not one of the Pruin. You're not equipped. <laughs> right? No evil, while he walks through the valley of the shadow of death. As I, I walk really through the valley of the shadow of death. <laughs> <laughs> I, really hope he can, I really hope he can pull the cross maneuver, man. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, there was a dude. Oh, there he is. He's over there. All right. Oh, man. So that guy exists. Excuse me, sir. Are you uh -huh. familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton nope. Darby, reporter. Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. Well, uh, let's yeah. ask him all, all the... Well, all the we'll him stuff him first. Last, yeah. Unless there is no him stuff. 
Okay. Oh, there's the entire of this one. Why are the newspapers keeping silent about the Spanish influenza? It's as though none of you care. There's a war going on. People shouldn't be demoralized by news of deadly diseases. Uh, uh, I don't know what he's responding to here. I, I mean, I... France. Our top priority must be to put an end to this butchery. This war must stop now. So they're, they're focusing on... Okay. An invisible yeah. and untold war is going on, and it must be stopped. So tell me about that, since that's the first you mentioned it. Right. Have you any idea of the danger you face in these streets at night? I've had to run and hide more than once from frenzied mobs incensed by the fever. Do sure. The flu we'll say that's what that was. This, oh, okay. No. <laughs> My rationalism has recently been shaken. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to do that one. I must confess. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you do that. What is a journalist doing in this borough after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go, to inform the country. You risk your life revealing the truth. So you risk your life to reveal the truth. I saw many reporters do the same during the war. Look at that proper reporting gumption. So right. Untold stories and tragedies. I want people to know them. Is the public interested? But is the public interested? Not at all, sir. And that's why I'm an independent journalist, hoping to sell some stories. Makes sense. All right. Christina Popper claims she sells <gasps> cool. because she can't find Jeez. <laughs> wow. Her story is exactly what I want my readers to <laughs> Just throws her story out there to some random guy. Right. Do you think things will ever change? I believe the situation can only improve. And now that women can vote, I'm convinced things will change. I just half expected to hear the priest behind you go, Women can what now? <laughs> <know, right>? me! <laughs> About an underground medical dispensary? I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Ah, uh, yes, and you're a doctor. Uh, <clears throat> right. And I'm not really an acquaintance of this. Why do you care? Nurse I know is common. I'm afraid one of the nurses from the Pembroke Hospital may be involved with unsavory activities. Ah, could it be Dorothy Crane? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. <laughs> I mean, you kind of threw it out there, just saying. A man named Darius. I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious. Never goes out. Doesn't seem to have any friends or family. He's the perfect dog dog. God dog. He has, he has no relatives. No relatives at all? No. Except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. Oh, nice. Right? He never goes out? He never goes out. No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. You seem a decent sort, fellow. <laughs> I hate to kill you. <laughs> no, I won't. Yo, other guy. I'm behind the church. <laughs> huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, oh that's he's a, only 10. A, We're good. A dazzled skull. Make sure he's the only one. I don't care if he is the only one or not. Ooh, they're so loud and angry. But yeah, I, I would love to know, and maybe I should look it up. I, I'd be love to know where this whole idea that science and religion have to be at odds came from. Where Oh, science and religion? I yeah, it's just that because the priest is like, you're a doctor. Oh, you're more. Uh, you know, you just said, hello. I'm priest so and so. Hello, I'm doctor so and so. Oh, you are more lost than I thought, my son. It's like, dude, it's just he's a doctor. Well, it came from their two different things trying to prove the same stuff 
with completely opposing ideals around it. No, they aren't. I there mean, is nothing inherently opposing either. There's nothing that inherently opposes science in religion, and there's nothing that inherently opposes religion in science. There are specific about theories. Size is, science opposes religion. All right, hit me. Let's hear this. Religion's after whole you thing. talk to this guy. Hang on, I'll talk to him in a second. No, because this is an actual conversation that we'll probably have next time based on this. So, all right. Well, this is definitely Richard. Good evening. Yep. I'm Dr. Ooh. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? I and I have a serious sir. case of RBF. I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. Hello. Why are you doing here at night? May I ask what you're doing? At Why are you doing? Do you live here? Not at all. I'm just enjoying the pleasure of a quiet walk. Though night talks are always preferable, if you ask me, especially with strangers. That sounds hyper sketchy, right? Oh, why should I? I see some equity in the Spanish flu. Uh, no flesh should be saved, say the scriptures. Good or evil, rich or poor, all are equal in the eyes of the flu. Unnecessary exposure, sir. Thank you, Doctor. But we both know the seeker of truth has to go boldly where the weak dare not. I... What are your thoughts on the terrible situation in this city? Terrible, you say? No. Of course, the death of so many innocents is a tragedy. But the scourge has not been all bad for the city. Oh, no, sir. What are you talking about? Do you are you having fun with the camera? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I nowhere to be found. And now, listen to this oddly peaceful silence. Somebody really likes his quiet. Peaceful silence, really? Yeah. That's quite an unusual way to speak about the epidemic. And very inappropriate, I must say. Most people fail to understand my perspective. I don't blame them. But how could I call myself a poet if I veiled my feelings? Uh, I have answered that, but anyway. <laughs> I must be to feel the real beat of the city. I had to come. See it for myself alone. It is somewhat I risky around your risky? For solitude. Risky. I don't care. I don't have many friends, Doctor, and my family despises me. If some mystery... Who will help you if you're in danger? Who would be here to help you? Well, you for a start, my dear Doctor. <laughs> I mean, that's a great non answer. Right. Tell me, Mr. Nethercott, why seek inspiration? I was looking for that one. It's like, all right, what's here specifically that he's... ...per se, but uh, how to explain it? Stirring and challenging. And challenging. Do you not think it a little morbid? On the contrary, sir. Whitechapel is full of life, full of beauty. Just like my dear muse, the wonderful Camellia. What can you tell me about Camellia? Not much. And that's the beauty of it. She can't speak, you know. She's a locked mystery who exhales kindness and sweetness. Oh, you're a stalker. Yay! Afraid to find the truth about her. Just afraid to find out the truth about your muse. One day, perhaps, I'll ask her to come with me. But, ah, will she still be my wild flower of Whitechapel if she moves uptown? Oi. And have you ever tried to learn more about her? Where she lives? How she survives? Whom she may know? Maybe I prefer she remains an enigma. Reality can be so dull, don't you think? Oh, you're one of those. Right. The struggle by gaslight. The barren smiles and the arid hunger under the rain. If you say so. Such vibrant... <laughs> if you say so. I love the... Uh-huh. <laughs> yep, that was a straight up. Was like, ah, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. yeah. No, I'm listening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. And what about the poignant distress? 
Oh yes, the poignant distress. You see what I mean, don't you? Oh, that's what I want to write about, and that's what Whitechapel is made of. Oh, sweet Moses. I'm looking for Nurse Doyle. Think right. A few questions about the district. Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you if I can. Oh, I'm looking Crane. for Dorothy Crane, a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. Oh, that, that, that one's actually pretty good. But, sorry, yeah. No, never heard of her. <laughs> what can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. I <laughs> okay. leave you alone, sir. Find the mailbox and the ripped up letter. Oh, yes. But that's all we have time for tonight, guys. And I guess next time we will argue about science and religion, because apparently that's discuss. where our conversations are going. Discuss. Uh, discuss. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you want to see more of this or any other lore or Let's Play, let us know what it is you want to see in the comments down below. In the meantime, this has been True Masters, Masters and, and Morons signing off. off. There were lead plates in that trash can lid. Oh that is that is a heavy duty trash can, dude. A lead trash can, like for real? Maybe somebody threw away lead. That would almost that that makes more and less sense all at once. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more like it, hit that subscribe orb. To see our last let's play, click or tap the link on the right. For our last lore video, click the link on the left. Thank you to all of our patrons for making these videos possible. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching, and, and we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.